Yo, welcome to the channel. This is the Rap 2K, and today, man, we got that Vince Staples. Ramona Park broke my heart. Yo, that's a great fucking album. I can't even lie to you. Um, yo, ever since Mac Miller has passed away, I've kind of been checking out for Vince Staples musically a lot, a lot more. You seen Schoolboy Q kind of has like retired from music. Like, I don't know what's going on. You feel me? But. Yo, far as Vince Staples is concerned, yo, he's been consistent and definitely been dropping some heaters, heaters, heaters. Ever since FM, ever since last year, he came out with a project. One top three albums last year on this on this page. You feel me? Let's get into it, yo. Yo, this album right here, it put you in a place, bro. My grandmother just passed away in June, and like, yo, this is definitely a dedication album. Yo, song number one, yo, it's a good just, you know what I mean, it's good. It's a good song, you feel me? Yo, he said he sh might just shoot a nigga mama in the hood when he doing spinning on song number two, you feel me? Yo, song number two is definitely one of the best songs off of here. Um, song number three, he said, it's on, if it's not about a dollar, then it don't make sense. Talking about DJ Quick um, lines. That's my song number three, basically, off of this album, yo. I fuck with that song. Yo, if... He did sample Ice Cube, you don't know how we do it, sample on song number four. Yeah, I definitely like how he did that. Um, on song number five, it's kind of a skip. Bullets don't have no name, you feel me? Yo, I like the old laid back feeling, the old riding music, yo. It just puts you in a fucking atmosphere, yo. Like, it just puts you in a different time zone, a different atmosphere, yo. I definitely like that shit, yo. It just got like a 90s, early 90s late 80s feel on that song number six you feel me a song with little baby is definitely good like i like that song a lot he said they say the perfect time to slide is doing fight yo the perfect time is to slide doing fireworks on song number eight of course if you hear the fireworks in the background that's what that means is an indication of that's when they slide you feel me um he said, if it ain't about the bread, then I don't give a fuck on song number nine. I did like that. He said, um, sometimes life comes bittersweet on song number 10. Yo, song number eight, song number seven through, yo, this whole album, I'm not going to lie. This whole fucking album fucking tough, you feel me? He said, I ain't got no time to wind a dime. I got to run the streets. If I knew you would be mine, I knew you was one call away from pressing decline. On song number 11. So, song number 11, yo, if you like, yo, you ever had that bitch that you just been riding with you, or you feel like she been like flaking on you, I mean, and all of a sudden, yikes, she just been, yeah, yo, it was one of them tracks, bro. Like, yo, this is one of them tracks, yo. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yo, as far as the rest of this album, I can't even lie to you, like, yo, he put a, he put a great fucking display on. Like, if you listen to track number 16 and it just plays to song number one, like, the transitions are fucking smooth as hell. Like, you feel me? Like, the production in this album is definitely A1, amazing. Um, Vince Staples definitely put his best foot forth, you feel me? Like, I I'm impressed. I'm definitely impressed. Um, gave this album an A. Like, I feel like the album is still missing, like, that hit that single hit that, you know what I mean? He don't have no, like, I don't feel like none of these songs are like top 10 Billboard songs, but they are great fucking songs, you feel me? So we're going to see with Vince Staples. The only person I feel like that was missing off this album is Schoolboy Q, you feel me? Like Schoolboy Q probably would have contributed towards that hit song that I'm probably looking for, you feel me? That's the only thing about Vince. Like, he'll come out with a great-ass album. We like his music and everything, but it's no, like, top 100 Billboard hits. And that's probably why... I don't know. Probably why people don't, like, consider him as a top-tier artist because he doesn't have that top-tier Billboard hit. But Vince Staples is a great fucking artist. Um, check out this album. Y'all haven't? Definitely.